Whoa! This one's for you, Dad. Nice. In our previous episode, we sailed from Rome to the Pontine Islands and then to the Aeolian Islands, where we'd sail past an active volcano. Now we were in Palermo, Sicily, our last stop in Italy. In here, we would explore the city's classical Italian architecture and urbanism while enjoying gelato after gelato. After all, with so many varieties, what else could we do? We had no option but to try as many as we could and repeat. We would be stuck in Palermo for longer than we had planned for. Again, we had been stood by a deliver that took longer than advertised. So we had plenty of time in hands to walk the city while we waited and waited for the next six months worth of supply of Ella's food. You young lady, this is the most expensive dog food ever. You better not get sick. If you get sick, I will kill you. I'm telling you. Seriously, one week to have dog food delivered in the marina. Really? Look at me, I'm talking to you, young lady. Yes, you. Dog food. Six months. Dog. Six months dog food. The guilty one. We just left Palermo uh, in the north of Sicily and we are uh, heading towards the Strait of Sicily, so between Sicily and Tunisia, and we're heading to Monastir in Tunisia. And what are the thoughts about that? Ah, thoughts about that. I'm looking forward to it. It should be, emphasis on should, should be a downward sail. Um, the maximum that the swell is going to get to is probably half a meter or maybe a bit more. Um, we're expecting up to 22 knots of wind. Uh, but for the most part, 15 to 16 knots. Right now we have none. Um, we have the half a metre swell, but as we uh, sort of come around, the swell will start getting behind us and uh, we'll start heading towards Tunisia, heading south. Okay, and thoughts about, um, you know, the refugees, the rafts, the li Im illegal immigrants. We've seen them once before, we've heard them multiple times on the radio. Hopefully we'll not repeat the experience of the close encounter in the Gibraltar Strait, uh, where we were adrift and they were adrift also. So, thoughts on about that? You yeah, worried? We're not, not going to go through any of that this time. In fact, I think it's going to be a very quiet passage. I don't think we're going to hear or see any refugees. Um, I think our biggest concern will be any ships that are, that are traversing the the Sicilian Channel, uh, heading heading further into the Mediterranean, um, and we'll see how we go. Okay, so is there a plan if something happens? Is there a plan if something happens? Not really, right? Not really. We think on our feet, we solve our problems, and we move forward. Okay. Fingers crossed, no refugees this time. There won't be any refugees this time. Okay. Positive, positive, positive. Okay. Let's keep that one. <laughs> yep. We just left Palermo, that is over here. And I guess this area here is Mount Pellegrino from the famous water of San Pellegrino. And look at the view, it's amazing. There's pretty much no wind, so we're motoring. This young lady here, oi, is very excited because we haven't been sailing for a week now and she misses the wave so she's a bit too hyper right now okay so you know how often we say that sailing is not about um, cocktails in bikinis it's actually about repairs in odd places so what happened is that our heat exhaust uh, fan reasonably important thing um broke what a month ago maybe almost a month ago and we've been pretty much sailing and motoring a lot without the fan, without the heat exhaust. So we've been opening the, all the, the windows in the back cupboards. And finally, we managed to get a replacement. Um, John installed it by himself without any assistance. Uh, these lovely, lovely assistants. I was doing the dishes anyway. And this is how happy we are. There's no wind and it's actually blowing the flag. It seems like it's much stronger than the previous one that we had. So I guess... Dougie, 
the, uh, the diesel engine is very happy because you can expel all this heat very efficiently. Hey John. Yes. Do you know how to spot a foreign vessel in Italian waters? Yes. They're the only idiots going around imaginary squares. Avoiding. Avoiding the imaginary squares. So, we'll further explain. See that red line over there? And that one over there? Apparently that's a no-go zone according to the pilot the pilot book, not this one, but according to the pilot book. And if you zoom on the chart, it says a no-go zone. And where is the smart ass? He's over there. Don't know if the camera can capture it. But anyway, there's a boat out there on the no-go zone. So I think we've been able to see it pretty much since we had daylight. Uh, but it's pretty weird because we, we can see land. However, we're only arriving in uh, eight hours, nine hours. And we just crossed, it's not actually a TSS. That's the big one that we're trying to avoid now. Um, but there's a TSS in that direction over there. Uh, so the cargo ships are still all very aligned um, and we've just tried to pass behind this one and the other one and that one over there. Um, successfully I think we're going to make it but with the assistance of the one that I pointed at first because he adjusted his course I believe uh, and John passed um, that side of the TSS or shipping channel, whatever you want to call it, um, in the wee hours of the morning. Yeah. And there's no wind. We're running our engine to do this. And someone wants breakfast. So as we were having breakfast, John, I can't oh, see it. I can't see it. Jumping okay. So that's John working hard. Work it, John. Work it. Look at that. You tiring him? Yeah. Okay. What do you want me to do? Nothing. It's the minute. That looks nice. So pretty. Look at that. It's amazing. Look at that! Look at the 
color is already disappearing the color yeah. but look at that okay John okay how excited are you oh look this is taking me am such I getting a long the scale time. such a long time but check look that at out that. Oh. the smile <laughs> Awesome, let me get further back so that you can actually see. Now this one. Whoa! This one's for you, Dad. Nice. when you don't have a car and you live on a boat, right? You can't stick your head out of the window when you're riding in the car. So the option seems to be to stick the head under the mesh out of the boat while we're sailing or in this case motoring. You gotta check the back okay. Check the back okay, I have to check this is this is an entire thing. It's not just that. How cute is that? Cutest puppy bump ever. What? Were you caught in the act? that we have to dodge apparently. Well, I think I've never seen like this. Quite interesting. And the view is quite nice also. And on the side note, it's really funny. We've actually been radioed onto the VHF by the Coast Guard like maybe three times. But the first times we didn't understand understood that they were actually calling us so we kind of ignored. And just like five minutes ago, they've actually said the name of the boat correctly. Um, and we had a little chit chat in English. It was really funny. And very, very efficient. And we finish with Welcome to Tunisia. As we arrived Hammamet, Tunisia, we concluded our 2018 sailing season. During this season, we had sailed over 2,400 nautical miles, visited eight territories, and were looking forward our winter season in Tunisia, full of boat projects, new friends, and adventures.